Hello family, this is On Self Overcoming with Kabelon Pawani. I am your host, Kabelon Pawani, and I'm here to serve you purposefully and impactfully with positive conversations and meaningful conversations that will help us seek our true selves, that will help us just to rediscover ourselves and who we are. So guys, in this episode, um, I'm thinking it's episode two because, yeah, it's episode two. I mean, this is so embarrassing, but it's episode two of On Self Overcoming with Gabelon Pawani. And on this episode, I would just love, I would really love to just unpack what the, what the, the meaning behind the title of the podcast, On Self Overcoming. And what I meant about that as a brand or as a title, basically. Because <laughs> I'm thinking I'm being ambitious of calling it a brand. But I guess I'm manifesting. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, first of all, I'm a Soto girl. I'm a Soto. It's all a Soto high. And I, I'm just, what am I doing? I'm just trying to make a disclaimer. Yeah, okay. If you look like you are language, a certain language, if ever you hear me speaking a certain language, just that just know that it's my language, Sesotho language. Um, but I'll try by all means to stick by English. <laughs> so in this episode, as I've said before, that I'll be explaining what I really meant by on self overcoming and what it really means for me as a person. Cause I mean, we can begin by brainstorming. What's what, what is it that we mean by overcoming? Um, I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds. Please do guys brainstorm. What is it that we mean by overcoming from the top of my head? I could say overcoming. We mean by overcoming. We mean conquering, doing away with, um, being an obstacle or um, something that that you do not really need, you know, in life as as as, as you progress and you notice that uh, this I cannot progress with this I cannot move forward with, so I'm just gonna dump it here and move forward, you know. So why do we have to overcome ourselves? Basically, firstly, we overcome ourselves because. We need or we wish to be the best version of ourselves. And with that, we know very well or we have a better understanding that if one has overcome themselves, they stand high chances or better chances of having better social interactions with other people or rather relationships. So there are some things that we need to to kind of let go of, you know, those strongholds that hold, held us back in our past, probably the traumatic experiences, um, all those things that we have disliked about ourselves, that we feel that we cannot, basically overcoming ourselves, it's like giving a solution to like sabotaging ourselves because if we do not um, hop on this journey of, overcoming ourselves we are basically fooling ourselves we are basically um fighting with ourselves or or sabotaging who we really are because if we are not better ourselves or if we are not if and mark my words i'm not saying perfect you know because nothing is perfect in this whole world if we are to unpack that really, I mean, realistically speaking, but if we were to say, let me try, right, and make an effort of becoming someone that I would love someone else or the next person or the third party to become, if I want this person to treat me with dignity, with love, with genuineness, with um, with honor, with respect, why don't I first begin and 
unleash all those um characters by myself so that i can show this person that okay i do not appreciate you ill treating me how it's i want two three one two three make a horn got have a hawk upon a gun hurry trump again to it in the right again to it in and you go over the game to it in you know what i mean so I, I i i i with myself i i i thought about it or rather i had interpreted it in a more mental mentally mentally mental 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 space in a more um mental manner that mentally j you cannot expect to have social to have better social interactions with other people if you're not mentally well if you're not mentally um stable you know what i mean rather distance yourself from your surroundings and just work on yourself work on your being overcome yourself overcome some of the things that um you dislike about yourself overcome some of the shortfalls that you've seen about yourself then you can come out and step out of that shell and just become that new being that loves and that respects and that um just loves themselves firstly you know as a foundation and firstly as an establishment of what really love is so that you can try and shift your mindset into that perspective that if i'm loving on this pe- on this people all i'm going to see from them is love irregardless of the ill treatment they are giving me but it is love because i'm all about love i'm all about um dignity i'm all about honor i'm all about kindness and if anything if i interact with people if i interact with my surroundings the first lens that i'm going to view these people with is that lens of respect it's that lens of humility you know what i mean so that's what um on self overcoming with gabriel paran is all about and for an example i will make an example with myself as I, as i've said before that i've always wanted to establish or to launch a podcast because i mean i love um public speaking i'm very passionate with that and people around me or my peers my friends my family they've always interrogated me and said why is that called a podcast because i mean you have a youtube channel yes but why don't you just um chop some meaningful conversations that can help other people and that can help you too because you seem to be so passionate about speaking and just helping people saving people you know in a purposeful manner in a positive manner you know what i mean and and i said to that people i and i said to those people that i'm not okay right i'm not in a good space i've not yet discovered myself or what i want to become or how i want to do this life thing i'm not okay at all so i feel i need to work on myself i need to overcome myself first before i can offer or hand out a helping hand to other people who are as vulnerable and fearful as i was you know and and i, I can i can't really say i've healed or i can't really say i've overcome myself hence this podcast is on overcoming and i really want you guys to understand that it's a process it has never been a destination for me it has never been um yeah it has never been a a a, a end of the road for me it has always it has always been a ride and it can it will continue to be a successful ride because what I, what is it that i know is that i am very grateful for the progress i've made like i am so 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 emotional as i am speaking about that because you know when you look back and you go i used to engage in 1 2 3 i used to do this i've conquered that addiction i've done big things 
and you just feel that before you just begin to celebrate yourself, let me just um, help others and just pull them through in that pit hole, in that um, scary place or in that darkness and just help them through the word of God, through prayer, through devotion, through motivation and godly and godly counsel as i've said in the first episode so i told those people that i need to heal first and this is not to say i've healed i am healing and if anything each and every day i see growth i see a step forward me stepping on something to to to, to achieve something better to become the best version of who I, who I, who I perceive myself as, basically. So, this guys is just a home, a space of self discovery, where day by day we 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 make an effort of seeking identity. Cause I, for one, have always struggled to to to, to settle with my identity. To say, okay, this is who I am. And it has always been so hurtful for me because some things, when they happen to you, you ask yourself, okay, what do I stand for? Where do I go? On which side do I, do I, do I throw myself into? Because you do not really know where, who you are or where you are going per se. You know what I mean? So I thought to myself that I need to seek myself. I need to seek my identity. And it's not something that I've achieved that I, I, I can stand firmly and be rooted in myself and say, this is who I really am. This is what I stand for. No, it changes daily. And I've, I've learned to accept that. And I've, I've learned to accept all things that come with those changes or those evolutions and just be grateful for what what myself what my true self avails to be and that and just um learn to embrace that by itself so um guys i feel like i've rumbled rumbled too much to extend that my voice is kind of you know trembling but i'm thinking to that it's probably the nervousness or the fact that this is my first time on this platform spotify podcast but i am open to learning more about myself and this plot this platform and the podcast by itself but i just want to say that please do guys it's never a destination it is a journey so we cannot really depend on people's perceptions of us to say, oh, Zbamban says I'm, 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 I'm this person, so I'm that person. It needs to start, but you need to be confident. You need to stand firm in saying, and embrace yourself. Even, the time com- even, even when the time comes whereby you've changed, your character, your personality. Embrace that. Know that God is working you through that. He's guiding you through those changes, through those evolutions, and just be grateful for what he has put before before you, basically. And do not let people, people's beliefs condition you into believing that I am this person. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's something that I've always struggled with. And I'm still struggling with that, but it has gotten better. (laughs) I cannot really lie about that. I don't want to really lie. It has gotten better. And if anything, I'm really, really, really (laughs) grateful for that step ahead. So, yes, guys, I've, I've, I've come to an end of this episode. I hope you did enjoy. Um, Until next time. Bye.